Is everyone here? These are the ones who brought this madness into our world. Who the hell are these people? We will be broadcasting your miserable deaths live on national television. Uh, Miss Scarlet, a question if I may. Why a public execution in this day and age? With all the chaos resulting from media, we need to rally public support. It's better that we punish somebody. Anybody. You make me sick. <laughs> Though they might not admit it, everyone loves this stuff. All right, we'll start with the girl. If you're gonna do it, then do me first! Camera, make sure you get this. The audience just eats up tearful goodbyes. What are you doing? Welcome to my special gas chamber. Sit back and enjoy a slow, painful death. Stuck up, bitch. I'll let the show begin. <laughs> alert, alert. Weapon attack imminent. All units, report to your position. Oh no, it's a weapon! Run! Wait, you idiots! Damn. Just when things were getting interesting. Miss Scarlet, what are your feelings on this latest development? Hmm? Hmm. You didn't run. I'm impressed. My feelings? Well, I... Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Sleeping gas! Here to rescue you. You? Thank you, with Shinra. I'm against capital punishment. Besides, I despise that woman. Come on, we've got to save Tifa. I'll keep a lookout. <laughs> Ooh, I've already pushed the button.
Then it will open! It's a weapon. There have been so many attacks lately. Can we handle it? We'll manage somehow. Permission to engage the enemy. No need to ask. Let's see how it likes the taste of our great cannon! Open all gun ports! Set the main cannon to target weapon! Operations complete! Relay order! Blast it out of the sea! Did we get it? Seems so. Weapon approaching! That's what it read for us! It, it can't be! That was a direct hit! What about the cannon? It'll take time to reload! Then use regular firepower in the meantime! Uh, yes, sir! Target the weapon! Don't let it ashore! from somewhere else. There's nothing we can do. Time for a change of plan. Let's get out of here first. Tifa! I'll save you! I promise! Damn! This one's locked now too! Now you'll never save her. God damn it! Hmm. Another change of plan. We're running to the airport. The airport? And just leave Tifa behind? It's okay. It's okay. 
We've got to take a chance. Sorry to interrupt at such a busy time, but if I could just get a quick interview. Stop to trap! Oh, oh, my ears! Not so loud. It's me. It's me. You see. The hell are you doing here? Explain later. We've got to hurry to the airport. things up. This is the right way. Looks like a dead end. Huh? Did I make your own turn? You idiot! What the hell are we supposed to do now? They'll be stomping on us at any minute. Watch my back to the very end, partner. Relax. Relax. Move your arms, feet, head, whatever you can to escape the chair.
Which button stops the gas? What the hell was that? Hey, open up. First you lock me in this crazy place and now you want me to come out? Make up your mind! Our little game of tag ends here. The gas chamber might have failed, but watching you slam into the water below could still prove quite exquisite. Don't you think so? Stuck up to the end. Ah! Quit slapping me, you old hag! Take now you pay. How do you like it? Ugh, quit it. You shut up. Ugh, that hurt. I can't stand it. Don't just stand there. Grab her. Let's end this. Come quietly, or I'll drop you. <laughs> Run! Run to the end of the cannon! <laughs> Diva! Over here! Grab onto the rope! Don't just stand there. <laughs> Okay. My cheeks hurt a little. But never mind that. What's all this about? The details can wait a wee while. Till the time's right. At any rate, the airship High Wind is now yours.
I'm glad you're okay. I'll... be staying here a while longer. I have my hands full right now. I do apologize. Never mind. Um, uh... What shall we talk about? I know! I can tell you about our mutiny! I had to go work the Highwind crew hard. Each and every day. Whenever he got yelled at by the president, he'd immediately take it out on the crew. We had to just put up with it. No matter how often he beat us. Having worked so hard to make it onto the Highwind, we couldn't just leave. Then, well... It must have been about seven days ago. We were ordered to the Great Creator of the North. Everyone boarded the Highwind with Scarlet and the President. Among them was the legendary pilot Sid. Mr. Sid was looking around the ship, filled with nostalgia. He even gave us the honor of his company. He was unbelievable. Such an inspiration. What we'd heard about him was all true. He has a heart burning with passion. Mr. Sid said that the Highwind would make the trip a whole lot easier. Who would have thought it was a trip to save the planet? I'm so deeply moved by all this. So anyway, we decided to help. When we arrived in Junon from the Great Crater, I ran around screaming, FIRE! FIRE! In the middle of all the commotion, we stole the ship from Shinra with Mr. Sid's help. And that's the story of our mutiny. It wasn't that underhanded when you consider what our superiors got up to. You and Barrett were captured by Heidegger. We had to wait a week for a chance to rescue you. That's why, Miss Tifa, I'm so happy the mission was successful and we could see each other again. And thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my rather long story. You damn it! Why didn't you tell me we had an airship? I thought... Tifa was gone for sure. Ah, sorry about that, lad. But I had to do something to fool the enemy. Come on, everyone's waiting. Everyone? Everyone's here? Welcome aboard my airship. The highway! What's wrong? You should be more excited than that! Sid... Oh... Yeah... We're... short on crew. Tifa, I'll be giving you all sorts of stuff on Shinra. Ask me if there's anything you want to know. Well, life sure is full of ups and downs. What's with the sad face? I'm glad to see you're safe, Tifa. So, we need Cloud for this. We can't save the planet without him? Meteor is coming. The weapons are on a rampage. Right now, I don't know what to do. I just don't know. Get a grip, Tifa! We'll think this through together. Remember, there ain't no getting off this train we own. If Cloud were here, it'd feel like everything was going to work out. He'd stand in that cheeky way he always did and tell me it'll be all right tifa hey when'd you become so weak sorry barrett i'm a little surprised myself and disappointed yeah but tifa remember what he said back in the crater i know that's why i have to see him again i want to be sure Well, I sure didn't hate the guy. Gotta admit, though, 
I thought he was a bit of a wacko. Just when you thought he was cool, he'd go and do something real boneheaded. And he came across like he was so clued up about stuff. But then he'd not know how to do the most obvious of things. Something about the way he moved and spoke just didn't sit right with me. Thinking about it now? Yeah, it all makes sense. Well, as long as he's still alive, you'll get to see him again someday. So cheer up, sis. Yeah, I will. As soon as we find out where his spiky ass is at, the highway will have us there to Jiffy. Maybe when... the ground collapsed deep inside the great crater, Cloud was pulled even further below. Further below? You mean to the life stream? The life stream passes just under the seabed and occasionally gushes out to the surface. I've heard stories about a place where this happens. Maybe, just maybe, clouds. As soon as we find out where his spiky ass is at, the highway will have us there to Jiffy. <laughs> Captain Sid! Sorry, sis. I gotta teach this moron how to land. Come on. It'll be over soon. Oh, and sis, whatever the plan, you gotta be ready. Right? Go to the operations room and start making preparations. Hello, Miss Tifa. Hello, Miss Tifa. Your orders? Hello, your order. Hello, your order. your
Ooh, are we leaving? Yeah, we're off. Hi there, beautiful! <laughs> this here's Medeal Village of Ocean Currents. <laughs> it's a tranquil village with hot springs. <laughs> the ideal place for us old folks to live out our carefree lives. <laughs> it may not be peaceful outside, but it's still nice and quiet here. Welcome! We accept cash with a smile. At least we would, but... That customer over there has purchased everything. We've got nothing left. Gotcha! Just a little joke, eh? Now, what can I do for you? Thank you! Oh, I heard the huge man's about to fall on us! It's no joke! I'm gonna start stocking up on the essentials! Come on, out of the way! Move it, move it! You're very friendly all of a sudden. Oh, so that's it. You've got your beady little eyes on my mimic greens. Well, okay. Eat up. <laughs> How cute! I could just tickle you! Roll up, roll up! It's a bloodletting sale. It's a bargain. We've got the best weapons and armors, the likes of which you won't find anywhere else. First come, first served. You there. Don't just stand around, come inside. Welcome, welcome. There's no need for formalities. Go on in. Don't be shy, step right up. 
I'll never understand why my husband decided to set up shop in such a laid-back place. <sighs> It's you again. Have you come to Hard Goods too? Well, don't even think about getting in. Everything in this store is mine. Luckily, I've got money to burn. I've been saving like mad for times such as these. Come on, out of the way. Move it, move it. No good. Looks like it's locked. Welcome to Comrades Emporium. A store of love and courage. What can I do for you today? Come again! You're telling me no one knew a huge ball of fire could rain down on us at any minute. I don't believe a word of it. How could we end up like this? Ancient weapons. The end of the world. I'll have none of that malarkey. I'm gonna live to be a hunter. There's tons of stuff I have left to do. I'm making a start this instant. And just what have Shinra and Soldier done about this, huh? Nothing but a bunch of self-serving eagles. True, I'm a fair maid, but don't let that fool ya. I buy and sell accessories on the side. You'll never be ashamed wearing these, only the finest of quality. So how about it? Feel like buying something? Thank you, come back anytime! Hey, you got that green stone from the chocobo. I am so jealous. There's something stuck here. Looks like a key. I know! What about that rusty old key? Maybe I should give it a shot. Yeah, this should do it. Hmm? It's a tight fit. No, it snapped off! I can't get it out! Is something the matter? Uh, no, it's just... What am I gonna do? Better apologize. I'm... I'm so sorry. I forced the key in and it broke off. Huh? Key? To that door? <laughs> That's a good one! Huh? Of course it broke! It's a wall! I painted a door onto it! What? It's not a real door? That's right! I painted it on there to make it feel like you could pass through into another world! Sorry I made you panic. It's not much of an apology, but please take this. Really? Thanks, I guess. Door like that! One that you can take into another world! You know, 
I have this nagging feeling I might manage it someday. I haven't seen you people before. Are you outsiders? How are things looking out there? What with the earthquakes and meteors? I'm starting to wonder if it really is the end of the world. What a depressing thought. Terrible times indeed. Ah, there's no time. That moon can crash down on us at any minute. When it all comes down to it, the world's about money and possessions. As long as you have those, you can get by wherever, whenever. So spend, spend, spend! Shop till you drop! Welcome to my shop of tranquility and rest. How may I help you today? Thank you. Please come again. Oh, what's the matter? You look lonely. Have you lost your owner? Poor thing. I guess it's been about a week now since he washed up on shore. Poor spiky-haired young fellow. I it was pretty sad. It's kind of strange, though. Hold on to that enormous sword. Maybe this is a bad omen. If you know what I mean. What? Wait, wait a minute! What did you just say? Excuse me, that young man you were talking about. A villager found him on the coast up ahead. About a week ago, I think. Poor kid. I bet he drifted in from somewhere really far away. Cloud! It must be! It's Cloud! So he is here. Bingo! Where is he? Is he safe? Where is he? Oh, he's up ahead. At the clinic. He's alive. Cloud. Cloud's alive. Cloud! Wait. Hey, wait up. Oh my, the way you ran in, I thought Meteor was about to crash down or something. I'm sorry, but I heard a friend of mine is being treated here. A friend? Oh, the young man. Your friend is in the next room, but I must warn you, he... Here? Excuse me. Cloud? Oh, Cloud, I'm so glad you're okay. <sighs> Cloud? Marco poisoning. A severe case, I'm sorry to say. It appears that this young man has been exposed to extreme levels of Marco energy for a prolonged period of time. It's unlikely that he has any idea who or where he is. Poor fellow. He probably can't even hear you. His mind is elsewhere. Some place far away where no one's ever been. All alone. Right? Cloud! <clears throat> Shall we excuse ourselves a moment? Let's wait outside. Why? 
Why? Why did this have to happen? Please, Cloud, answer me! Tell me you can see me. That you can hear me. Please. I made it this far. I want to believe the memories we share are real. This can't be happening. It's just too cruel. Oh, Cloud. I... Will Cloud be all right, Doctor? Will he recover? As I said, he has Mako poisoning. I've never seen a case this bad. Mako energy holds a vast amount of knowledge and it all poured into his head in an instant. An ordinary person wouldn't have stood a chance. It's a miracle he's still alive. No wonder. His body was completely immersed in the life stream. But remember, a glimmer of hope can be found anywhere. You mustn't give up. If you lose all hope, you'll have nothing left to live for. Yeah, he'll recover. <sighs> Are you alright, Tifa? Yeah, sorry I made you worry. There's something I need to tell you. might be obvious, but... I... want to stay by his side. Yeah, I think that's for the best. Yeah, you gotta be true to yourself. I'm sorry. And now of all times... That's alright. We'll stop by every so often. Take care of Cloud. Hang in there, Tifa. Yeah. All right. We'll head back to the high wind. What are we gonna do now? Well, there's gotta be something. I and mean, don't go telling me we have to wait for Cloud to get better. Uh, I've got some info. Oh, so you moved up to counter spying, eh? Ah, I turned my back on Shinra long ago. Both Kyahaha and Kyahaha are up to something. Want to eavesdrop? Now then, we're faced with two pressing issues. One, the destruction of Meteor. Two, removing the barrier surrounding the Great Crater and defeating Sephiroth. Any thoughts as to our strategy? Yeah! <laughs> We've solved problem one. Meteor will soon be history. The plan's already in motion. We're currently in the process of recovering huge materia from each region. Hmm. Huge materia is a special type of highly condensed materia. It's compressed and formed inside Mako reactors. The energy contained is around 330 times that of normal materia. <laughs> How about that? We'll gather up all the huge materias and then ram them into Meteor. There'll be an enormous explosion. Meteor will be quite literally blown to bits. You're going to ram Meteor, but do we have the technology? First things first, we've still got to retrieve the huge materia from each area. We've recovered one from Nibelheim. Only Coral and Fort Condor remain. I've already dispatched troops to Coral. Yeah! <laughs> Corel! 
What more can they do to Corel? Huge materia. It's materia that's literally huge in size. I've heard about it. I got told that if you bring normal materia close enough to it, something incredible can happen. And since we're going to need the power of materia, we can't let any of the huge materia fall into Shinra's hands. Besides, when Cloud gets back, I want to show him some. He'll get the shock of his life. Oh, so what's all this then, Barret? After everything that's happened, you want Cloud back too, eh? Hey, hey, I ain't never had no problem with him. Thing is, every group's gotta have a leader. And that's me, is what I used to say. But I ain't cut out to be no leader no more. See, I never got that till recently. So that just leaves... Well, what's going on? You're our new leader. Pain in the ass. Forget it! To continue the fight, we need you and the High Wind. This is the ship that'll save the planet. And who's running it? You are. That's why you're our leader. Cause no one else can do it. The ship that'll save the planet, huh? That sounds like the stuff of legends to me. I just felt it right there. I'm the man. Damn right I'll do it. Well, let's get down to business. The operation room's waiting for you. Yeah! Yo, Sid! When you're ready, help with the coral reactor. Come on, Mr. Leader. Hurry it up. Taking orders? I know you're dying to talk to a babe like me, but I need to be alone. Sorry, just make me. Hello, Captain.
Hello, your orc. We leaving? Hoo-ah! We're off! 